Guys, today is Nana Day. If you didn't know, we summoned Nana about a week or two ago. Been trying to do videos. <laughs> In the meantime, since then, this is like the fifth video that we did on Nana. Uh, they just haven't been working because we can't find any good Guild Wars that are even worth doing, right? So uh, let's take a look at Nana's skills. Uh, that's basically just that, just because we can't find any Guild Wars worth doing. Uh, let's take a look at her skills. The stats are pretty good. 116 base speed is potentially crazy, but there's no real reason for her to be on Swift, right? So uh, let's take a look at her skills. Let's see what she does. First skill is attack power break. Goes up to 65% chance. You know, it's, it's okay. Usually for attack power break, first skill is good against bosses. Um, not for speed teams, for like bruisery, like longer boss battles. Uh, Mana Storm second skill. This is potentially nice. This is an AoE defense break. Goes up to 100% 100% chance. Uh, three turn cooldown when it's completely maxed. As of right now, I have no intention of maxing her skills. <laughs> Bagel, that's you're not off to a good start. I mean, really. The thing is, though, that would be a completely different situation. Is if this had an attack power buff, like just like Galleon. If this was just a basically the same as Galleon's third skill was her Mana Storm second skill, um, then I would absolutely devil mon her uh, ASAP, right? Because uh, then she would just be a better version of Galleon, right? But then uh, Soul Harvest passive. This is the thing that makes her interesting and different. The first two skills are like it's okay, but um, nothing special. Harvest the Soul creates a Soul Stone when an enemy dies on Ally's turn. Up to three Soul Stones can be stored up and consumes one saved Soul Stone to revive the ally with 60% HP when an ally dies. So you have to kill things first for things to revive. She does like if something dies before you kill one of the enemies then it doesn't work, right? So you have to use this in an aggressive team, kill things first, like a, a, a squishy uh, damage dealer team. This works really nice with Beast Riders, so, and then she's got a Guild War uh, accuracy leader skill, right? So she works really nice with Beast Riders, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take her in with some Beast Riders. I think we only have 10 minutes left in this Guild War, but let's uh, let's get it going. Match one, first team, we're just gonna take the team that we always take uh, into it. Second team, we're gonna use Nana and double Beast Rider. She has, again, the accuracy leader skill. Uh, hopefully they hopefully we kill one of them and then they kill one of us after that right so that's that's legit what i'm hoping for is that they actually kill one of us sometimes this resistance thing gets a little bit of annoying a little bit of annoying a little bit annoying lols okay so we did get a defense break eventually let's do one of these i kind of don't want to deal with her nonsense right now should we do one of these? I guess we'll do one of these. Maybe actually I shouldn't have done that because he could do his skill uh, three and then Pernik and proc. We got nothing. <laughs> we got no He's on despair. That's why it's funny. Well, it's resistance leader scale. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's fine, right? So let's do uh, one of these. Let's do... I really shouldn't... I really should... Uh... Why are we really not getting the despairs? Are we? Let's do this just to give ourselves a little bit more uh, attack each. I really shouldn't split my focus like that. I do that. That's a that's a mistake though. I'm gonna kill Tiana. Then we're not gonna. Oh my God! You're gonna kill Tiana. Then we're not gonna have Tiana for the next battle. Fantastic. Very excited about that. Uh, let's do one of these. We just need one more hit to kill Perna, which means we're not gonna kill Perna. <laughs> right? That's what that means. Is we're not gonna kill Perna. And then trickle in, and then he three more turns. Three more turns. I was I was waiting for it. Three more turns. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Let's just do one of these. Let's auto. We don't have that much. I should just loop. This guy's got to listen. This guy's got to die. Okay. So let's do. We'll do uh, one of these. Increase our attack age. We'll do one of these. Do some defense breaks and speed buffs. Then we'll do. Then it really doesn't matter. I guess we'll do one of these. Wonderful. Well, we already we we used one strip. We do still have another strip. Should we go for? Was well, Savannah's gonna? Is Savannah gonna move first? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Nice. There we go. And then hopefully we die. Hopefully something dies. Kill things. Not my team. I, I I want my team to not kill things. Yeah, kill kill Barbara. Get additional turns. Yes, yes, additional turns. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exact. Get another turn. Get another turn. Get another turn. I'm seriously. I want these guys to get additional turns. Please, please get additional turns. 
Kill Barbara. Let's hit this thing. Kill Barbara. Listen, kill Barbara. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> no, don't go for it. Kill Barb. Kill Barbara. Kill Barbara. Barbara is a threat to you. Kill Barbara. I'm gonna get the defense break. Okay. I want this Barbara to come back to life. Kill Barbara. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Maybe Theomars will kill us. We'll probably just kill Theomars again. See, this is why this is why I wasn't gonna scale up, because I'm like, I'm not really doing too much of anything. Kill Bar you can kill Savannah too, I don't care. I don't care. Let's do uh, one of these. I don't think that's gonna do enough damage to kill. Oh, we did enough damage to kill, okay. Yeah, kill, listen, kill anything. We got two stacks now. Yeah, 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 kill things, kill things. Oh man, he didn't kill things. All right, but we're gonna bring both of these back. That's the situation we've got here. Both of these come back from the dead. Yeah, let's go. No, kill, kill, listen. Kill Barbara. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. She did a thing, guys. She did a thing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We finally made Nana work. Guys, like, really, Bagel? This is, you're excited about this? This is the, the most exciting thing for you? Yes! I think we're the Guild War is going to be done soon, though. Now, since I wasn't fast enough and I dicked around too much, we have a totally different Guild War because the other one ended before I could do any more with it. Um, so we have only... There's only three bases here. This is kind of the situation that I've been dealing with with this trying to spotlight Nana is there's only, like, ever three or four bases that actually uh, have any teams in them at all and everything else is just single unit defenses, single unit defenses. This is the situation across, like... Like, either single unit defense or absolutely terrible defenses across basically all the servers. I've noticed that only the top few hundred uh, Guild War, uh, ranked Guild Wars, uh, or t the top few hundred ranked guilds actually put defenses in. Everyone else is just putting, like, super weak defenses uh, to try to farm Guild Wars. But anyway, uh, this is what we're going to do for the first one. Ciara's going to hit the... Ciara's going to hit the Vigor. Um, watch... Watch we outspeed somehow. We outspeed the CR. If we outspeed the CR Bastet, I'm gonna cry. Because this has happened before, that this Vigor has outspeed, uh, outsped the CR Bastet. So that's like the punishment for having good Violent Runes, that you outspeed a Swift Bastet. <laughs> and then, uh, Daphnis is going to hit either the uh, Mermaid, which doesn't have Will Runes, or he's gonna hit the Perna, which is gonna just revive itself, right? So those are the options. And then for the second team, we're just going to hopefully... Um, hopefully they kill us. Hopefully we kill one of them and then they kill, uh, and they kill us. They come back and kill us. So let's see. <sighs> My violent runes outsped. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> so frustrating. This is so genuinely frustrating! It really is. It's so genuinely frustrating when... <sighs> let's do... I guess we'll do, uh, this... And then we'll do this. <laughs> when my violent runes outspeed their swift runes. All right, let's do uh, one of these. That should kill him. There we go. We don't get the heal from that, but it's not the end of the world. Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of that. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's do a little bit of one of these. I, I, I feel like I, I should not be punished for having good runes. But I always am. <laughs> but I always am. <laughs> Let's do one of these. Let's do, maybe we can snipe her. Okay. Outsped a speed lead and a, what I assume is a swift bastard. I mean, who knows? Maybe this is a despair bastard. But this is, this Vigor is unviolent, if you guys can't tell. But this has happened before, where I've gotten punished for, for, for having good runes. Where I'm like outspeeding things that I thought were like, oh, we're fine, we have well runes. Like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you are definitely not fine for having well runes. All right, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do one of these. Why not? 
Let's do... Ah, crap, I don't really want to do any of that. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. I mean, I figured I was going to have to be this one, right? That's, that's not a shocker. All right, so let's see. Let's get one of these. Get a fast link. Nice. Now we want... Hold on. The, the, the issue is... The issue is we want... No! Don't kill now. Oh, no, no, no. He's, he hit that. Okay. Uh, so let's hit this one. Now we have two stacks. Oh, no. Actually, we, we, we would have been fine before, too. So, kill Barbara. Oh, he's not going to kill Barbara. He's not going to kill Barbara. Ah, he didn't even proc either. He didn't do anything. <laughs> this, is, this is an issue, guys. Like, we have to take it with these aggressive teams. But, like, sometimes with the aggressive teams, we just win before we have a chance for anything to die. So. Kill Barbara. He's not going to kill Barbara. You know he's not going to kill Barbara, right? I hope he gets, like, 13 turns. This Tyrannus. Don't crit on him! <laughs> Why does it only do what I don't want it to? Next battle, first team, extremely free-to-play friendly team. Everyone should have this team. Super budget comp. For the for I just figured if we had it, we may as well use it. I mean, we still have Tiana. Like I said, it's a different guild war. Uh, actually, Chi Wu is very strong in here, too, against uh, against these paladins. Chi Wu is very strong because he has the strip and block beneficial effects. Uh, however, I just thought that it was fun. I just wanted to use her. So uh, this second team is actually the wrong team to take into this. But again, we don't have a whole lot of different options for bases, like defense bases that we can hit. So generally against this second team, just if you guys are curious how to approach this second team, uh, Shield Will is very strong here because Orion is going to randomly strip, right? Randomly strip, he'll sh strip maybe a shield on here and maybe a will on the other thing, but it's not going to strip like the thing that... Well, or maybe... <laughs> we, we, we don't want it to really strip the will. We're hoping that it strips the shield. That's kind of the thing. But hopefully he doesn't like strip the will and defense break the same unit because then otherwise it's going to be dangerous. Uh, Rakan still does have a strip on here, but it's not going to uh, strip everything, right? Uh, where does it say? Strips one, uh, removes one beneficial effect, right? So if you have multiple beneficial effects, then you're you're good there. Uh, and then passives, right? So people like to use passive like uh, tanky wind units to deal with the Rakan and then, uh, you know, like uh, Skogels, I think people are using against this uh, and then immunity and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I think I would use a like a Julia into this. But anyway, we're going to use this. It's completely the opposite of what we should be bringing. But we'll see, right? We're, we're, we're going to bring things back from the dead. So let's see if that uh, actually... Can we sleep her? Nope. We don't. Can we... I really would love to do... I want to do skill three. But I know that's going to wake her up instead of putting her to sleep more. Oh, never mind. We're good. Uh, let's do one of these. Does it <laughs> that worked against us? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's do one of these. Let's do, I guess we'll do one of these then. Maybe we put that uh, Leona to sleep. Can we stun her? Very nice. Can we do a, eh, we got to do this anyway. Let's just do one of these. Let's do, can we do one of these? Very nice. Oh, she's actually, oh, I was going to say she's actually working today. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do you know what I'm gonna kill Triana first. I'm gonna kill Triana first nice Very nice What a wacky everything <laughs> this match is. Okay, let's do a stun here. Let's let's try to pump some damage into no don't do one of those No, don't also do one of those. That's too many buffs. I can't strip all these buffs Listen, let's do one of these. I don't want more. Oh god. <laughs> Remember when she did something with skill 3? That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, let's do... I guess we'll do this then. Whatever. <sighs> let's do one of these. Let's do... Hey, <laughs> there we go. Why are you showing the Triana in that? Triana's got nothing to do with that game. Alright. There we go. Let's do uh, one of these. Let's do... Maybe we'll do one of these. Such a wacky team. You know what? Such a wacky team. It's fun to play with LD5s because generally generally speaking, I put decent runes on the LD5s, right? I'm like, if we get the LD5s, I'm gonna respect them with the good runes. 
So these are actually the the wind monkey. The, uh, the wind monkey. The light monkey's fast, but he's not on crit damage. The other two aren't crit damage. So uh, yeah, man, I would love to get an LD five myself. Yeah, I wish the rates were better so everyone could get LD fives themselves. Right? I know a lot of you out there like I've been playing for five years, six years, seven years, twelve years, twelve years. I don't know about twelve years, but. Um, I know a lot of you be like, I've been playing for years, been spending money too. Don't have, uh, don't have to. Oh, we are screwed. We're screwed, guys. We're screwed. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we're not, because she's. Oh! <clears throat> Welcome to Summoner's War! Not even attack power buffed. Welcome to Summoner's War. Very exciting. Very exciting how the game has just decided. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave this in. I don't even care. That's the end of the video because she died. But uh, yeah, that would have been uh, would have been cool to actually be able to to use her, right? Would have been cool. Didn't even have an attack power of <laughs> buff. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this would this would work super good. Yeah, the only chance that we had is if we bound proc. Mm, we did. See, that was. All they had to do is not that. All they had to do is not that. The 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 place that she's. <laughs> the place that she's for, she doesn't work. But not that she's specifically for this comp, this team, and everything. But like she's. We got double, but she like she's built tanky and she got double bombs and she just died regardless. All right, guys, that is Nana the Water Mage. Like I said, I've been trying to do a video on her for like a week or two now. I keep coming to the same conclusion. By the way, this is again, this is the uh, the runes on her. She's a two hundred and fifty, almost two hundred and fifty speed. She has thirty eight thousand HP, which doesn't really matter if the enemy violent procs and violent procs and violent procs and violent procs and violent procs. Well, they didn't vile, okay, they didn't vile proc that much, but she still, like, even without an attack power buff, she still went down pretty easily because violent procs are a thing. So, um, yeah, I've been trying to do a video on her for, like, a week or two now. I just keep coming to the same conclusion is, like, she is, is she a turn one unit? Is she a turn two unit? She's definitely a turn one unit. Uh, you definitely have to be fast and, I mean, her base speed is still pretty good. Uh, you definitely have to be fast and aggressive and try to kill the enemy beforehand. And if... Because otherwise, her her it, she doesn't stack, right? If the if if your allies die, she's not like a Ladriel, which or Tyrannus or whatever. Like she can revive uh, after that. Like you have to kill something first, otherwise, she doesn't bring anything back. So uh, if they change that, that would be a different story. Uh, if she could bring something back, even if it uh, even if one of your allies died first, that would be a different story. Or if the uh, if the Mana Storm was also an attack power buff, right? So attack power buff, defense break, just making her a better Galleon. Then she would just be more effective at doing what Galleon does. She doesn't. She wouldn't have a defense break skill 1 or attack age absorb skill 2. But she would still have this uh, just-in-case mechanic of if, the, if, if an ally dies, you can bring them back. So uh, if that was the case, she would be a better Galleon. I think that those are two different ways that Comptuous could buff her. Because right now, I have no intention of devil monning her. Uh, these devil not th this really doesn't make her what she is this is what makes her what she is and there's no need to skill this up i mean there's nothing there's nothing to skill up right but uh yeah the, you can use her without devil bonds it's just the issue of like if the enemy gets turn one that and and starts to kill things then you're already at a disadvantage you can't really come back from that because she's not going to bring anything back and then like you need to take turn one and she doesn't have like an attack power buff on here too, so she's not like a nice setup unit like Galleon is. So honestly, if they either change the skill three or change the skill two, if this was just an attack power buff, then she would just be a better version of Galleon, and I could see her. I could see the point of of having her, right? Um, and you just if if you if you summon her, you just take her into a place wherever you were using Galleon before. You now use Nana. Um, but as it is right now, she's just a unit that uh, I have some other places that I want to take her into and uh, and see what she's what she's capable of. But for right now, like PVE, that's the thing. It's like PVE stuff. But for right now, it's it's really just a situation of like if you are already going to win, you secure the win more. 
because if they kill you and try to make a comeback, you your guys just come back from the dead. So it's like if you're already winning. She's good if you're already... She's good if you're already winning. That's basically the whole story of Nana. She's good if you are already winning. So anyway... <laughs> anyway, that's it for this already, right? Uh, good thing we spent all the money to get these new, uh, new net fives that are only good if you're already winning the game. <laughs> Which doesn't really make any sense. Doesn't seem like, what's the point then? If you're already gonna win. Anyway, but you just secure the win just a little bit more. So anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, again, she's not, it's not like she's useless. I just, I would rather Devilmon her. Uh, sorry, I'd rather Devilmon something like this guy. Oh, he has runes. I didn't even know. Oh, I didn't even know I put runes on him at all. But I'd rather Devilmon um, him than, because I'm not actually even using him yet. But I'd rather Devilmon him because he actually has a little bit more of a point. He's more of a meta unit than uh, her, which still needs. I mean, there's a balance patch coming in uh, a couple weeks after RTA season is done. So we'll see what actually... I mean, I, I don't expect these mages to get buffed. But she's still better than the wind on Muji. She's still... I mean, she's a unit that you can use. It's just not like a game-changing unit. Like, if you summon her, you're not gonna... Your game is not gonna change at all. If you summon, like, a like a Zyros or something, or a Samoth, or uh, other stuff like that, like, your game is going to change. If you summon a Nana, you still probably play the same. <laughs> For the most part, you may pick her, like, every so often here or there. But it's not like a game-changing unit. From and again, I've been trying to do this for like a week and a half. That's just the that's just the um, the conclusion that I always come to. If she's not a game-changing unit, you really you don't you don't really need her. <laughs> I know I'm gonna piss people off. You don't really need her. Well, then why did I summon her? Because uh, Kaptos makes us think that these things are good when they come out, and then they turn out to be just like okay and need buffs. This kind of this kind of situation that we we have been in for. For a while with some of these uh, some of these new units. It's not like some of the other games where they bring out a new unit and it's like broken. It's like they bring out a new unit and it's like if you want to summon for it, you can. But you could use all the other stuff perfectly fine that you already had. With the exception of the Art Masters and the Beast Riders, those are those have been pretty good, right? Those have been pretty good. But like the uh, the Onmiujis, you don't need them. The the mages, you don't need them. You, you don't really need this stuff. So we're just we're just and I want you guys to maybe get a takeaway from this. I know I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. But I want you guys to get a takeaway from this. It's like, maybe for the next uh, Nat 5 stuff that we, that we get super excited about, we got to whale for it. Maybe we just don't. Maybe we just don't whale for it. And we just don't. Unless it's actually OP. Because these things have been consistently just like, let's spend money for it. Oh, it's disappointing. Let's spend money for it. Oh, it's disappointing. Let's spend money for it. Oh, it's disappointing. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I, I know I'm getting a... Bitter. It's a bitter bagel rant. I'm sorry. That's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.